I often wonder what's the difference between the different types of caseback opener, and now we can find out. So I've got a selection here, and starting with the cheapest, I've got just a bit of Rodico or Bluetack here. I've seen Spencer Klein use this in his videos. I think he loosens them first, so we're going to see just how good this is. Next up, I had to pay money for this. <laughs> this is a just a rubber ball, slightly tacky, not really sticky, but slightly tacky. Bergen make one of these, but this is just a cheap copy, but I'm figuring it's going to be just as effective. Next up is a proper opener, a two-pronged um, adjustable travel uh, opener here, which looks like it could be pretty good, but I'm guessing it's not as good as the one I usually use, my trusty MKS two-pronged opener. This is probably not as good as a three-pronged JAXA style, but still, this has opened everything I've ever thrown at it. It's very, very good. So let's get on with the test. The patient for this operation will be this Seiko Quartz chronograph. Let's open up the bracelet. I only just recently realized that I don't need to take the whole bracelet off. I can just remove a single pin here in this row of adjustment holes here. So let's do that. Good, ready to go. I have a holder here, but I'm gonna see how far we can go just hand holding it. And also this mat is quite sort of grippy, so let's see how that works. First up then, the blue tack slash Rodico, what can this do? I should say at this point, I've only finger tightened this. So hopefully it should be pretty easy to take off. <laughs> and, oh, there it goes eventually. Okay, so that worked fairly well. Um, the benefit of this is actually it's cleaned off my greasy fingerprints off the back, so that's nice. Uh, but I can feel they're tightening it back on. It's not as strong as just using my fingers. So, I don't know, I think this is just not really useful. Let's go up to the plastic ball. Right, this should be able to unscrew it easy. Oh, wow, okay, that's very easy to unscrew. So clearly this is stronger than the blue tack and even my fingers. In fact, if I tighten this as far as it will go, I don't think I can unscrew that with my fingers. No. Nope. And I'm pretty sure the blue tack slash Rodico won't work either. Nope, that's not doing anything. Okay, I'm surprised. This is pretty good. Yep, it can unscrew it. Wow. Okay, that's impressive. I'm now going to screw it back on as tight as I can with this. And that will give me an indication of how tight it is when I move up to the next opener, the adjustable one. At this point, I'm going to start using some protection. I've learned the hard way to always have a piece of plastic when you're using openers with metal prongs. So just an old bit of Ziploc bag like this I find is okay. And this is adjustable, so I'll line up one prong and then I should be able to tighten the other one so it's a nice tight fit in there. Yeah, okay, that's good. Now, can it open with the plastic ball tightening? Well, there it comes. Yep, there we go. Okay. Loosen it a little bit. And then one thing I've learned with this is always just lift it off slowly, vertically. So many times I've sort of been a bit too hasty and scratched it. All right, and as we can see, that came off nicely. Okay, so now we're gonna tighten it with this again, and we'll see if the plastic ball can undo it. Okay, <laughs> I don't think this plastic ball is gonna do anything with that, but let's see. <sighs> no. And now it's drying, but Oh, huh? oh, wow, it did it. Wow. Okay. Ha ha, I am impressed. Wow, little blue ball. Good job. And obviously no risk of damaging it with this either. That has really surprised me. Let's go one level up and see what the MKS wrench style can do. But first of all, I'm going to close it with this because this seemed a much stronger closing. 
Oh, I'm getting pretty nervous with this. It doesn't feel as secure to hold as the wrench style, even though it is pretty uh, strong, pretty powerful. All right. Now I'm bringing in the wrench opener and the prongs are square on this, unlike the round ones on the portable opener. And these are so sharp, they scratch so easily, which is the only downside. So get one side lined up, get the other side lined up and tighten them. The good thing about them being square is that they fit in really easily. You can really get a good hold. So it feels much more sturdy now and it should be easy for me to undo. Let's have a go. Yeah. Come in here easily. Okay, that was no problem. Right, I won't continue any further with that way, but I'm now going to tighten this and then see if the portable one can undo it. Or the ball, actually. Come on then, little portable buddy. What can you do? Right, good luck. Oh, it's not moving. No, it's not moving. Now, obviously, if I put it in a case holder, it would probably be okay, but I want to give everything an even chance and just use it on the mat with my fingers. So, okay. And let's give the ball a try. Can you work miracles with this? Here we go trying but it's not going don't think it's going to do it no that's not budging i'm not really surprised um in the interests of uh of research let's try with the case holder then and see what that does right let's try again Oh, it did it. What? <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. All these years I've been using an expensive uh, case opener and all I needed was a plastic ball. That is, that is, wow, that's incredible. And as I said, it's not even a proper like Swiss brand or anything. It's just a, a cheap one I could find. Amazing. So what's our conclusion? Well, I think the loser has got to be the blue tack slash Rodico. It doesn't really do much except it clears off the uh, greasy fingerprints quite nicely so it's not completely useless. Third place goes to the portable case opener. It did well, it's really uh, quite effective but it never felt safe in my hands. Maybe because it's small size, not much to grip onto. I really felt because of the metal prongs there was a risk of me scratching the case back. Second place, I'm surprised to say, is the trusty two-prong wrench that I've been using for years. It opens everything, as I mentioned, even grotty old watches, it's just been able to do it. But those sharp prongs really do have a risk of scratching the case back, which I have done many times. So that means the winner has to be <laughs> the cheap plastic ball. But with one caveat, it's really worthwhile combining it with a uh, watch holder. As we saw, that really meant I could hold the watch firmly and amazingly, the stickiness of this plastic ball just open it with no problem. I wonder after how long this will sort of either get really sort of degraded and dirty or whether it will go smooth. But anyway, it's so cheap that definitely this is worth getting to open your watches. And it's what I'm going to be using from now on.